Hello folks, what is up? This is Smellbringer here, back after a very long time away. Sorry, shit got compli complicated in my life, so I had to go away for a while. I apologize for that, but now I am back, and I've already posted some Trial of Princess stuff, but now I'm going to be talking about what I really want to talk about, and something I promised I talked about back in the Halo 5 video I did about the Grunt Goblin and the uh, Wasp, and that is Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, just Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy. And the topic w I chose was inspired by my boy Ubernick, who run he run he's mostly a Halo guy. Actually, he's entirely a Halo guy. But he asked the question, would Halo work in VR? And I'm going to post his video down in the link below, so that way you can check it out, so that way you can see what I mean by this conversation, this topic. And that is, would Kingdom Hearts work in VR? And I asked this question because at E3 2016, we saw the whole Prompto uh, Final Fantasy 15 VR trailer, and that got me thinking, would that work for Kingdom Hearts? So I did some more research into what exactly they're going to be doing for the Prompto content, and from what I understand, it's just kind of a first-person first person shooter experience. Also, from what I saw, we also get to see Sydney in VR and... Yeah, uh, feel free to masturbate to that, because that is clearly what you are going to be doing, because... Okay, come on, people. I said it back in the E3 conversation video, I don't like Sydney's design, and I took me a while to really pin down the exact reason, but it's because she doesn't look convincing as a mechanic, she looks more convincing as a porn star. And, yeah, no, that's pretty right on the fucking money there. It's like... Well, actually, it wasn't my thing. It was, I was watching a, this, uh, it wasn't the E3 discussion, but Brain Scratch Commentaries did a Final, 15 ep Final Fantasy 15 episode Deuce K video in which they talked about it, and yeah, one of the guys commented that she looks like a porn star as opposed to a mechanic, and yeah, um, okay, sorry, again, I ranted about Sydney again. It's like, it's like, it's the worst of female video game character design, and I hate it. Uh, but that's my thing. But back to f Kingdom Hearts. So let's get back to Kingdom Hearts, back on track, because I lost track. I'm sorry about that. But would Kingdom Hearts 3 work in VR? And at first, I was an adamant 100%, no, this will never work, it's a, it's a third-person platforming hack-and-slash beat-em-up. But then I remembered what they did for Prompto, which is pretty much a running, which is a gunning sequence. And I realized that, yeah, actually it could, because I'm flashing back to Star Wars Battlefront, the X-Wing VR mission that is so clearly, look, we're testing out if you guys want another Rogue Squadron game, to which I say yes, bring on the Rogue Squadron, but, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, that was the uh, mic pop filter. Um, but I actually like the idea of doing of doing a Kingdom Hearts VR gummy ship thing. Like, would, would that not be cool? You take the cockpit of a gummy ship. Because I know gummy ships are returning in 3 because they're in 1, they were in 2, and Nomura always seems to save them for the numbered installments on the consoles, so that would make the most sense. But it's like, don't have a thing where we're sh doing freaking shot locks with the Keyblade and stuff. No, have us do, f like, the X-Wing VR mission. Have us flying around in space, being able to look around our cockpit, that kind of thing. Have it be like an actual dogfight where you have to, like, break through enemy lines in order to reach the next world. You gotta accomplish objectives and stuff. Would that not be, like, the coolest shit? And so I guess... Yeah, this has been on the short side. I spent most of, most of it bitching about Final Fantasy 15, but it could work in VR. Kingdom Hearts could work in VR, and it's because of the gummy ships. You, you know, you just have it function like the X-Wing Rogue Squadron missions. Not Rex, Rogue Squadron. No, sorry, Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield. Sorry, I got Battlefield One on my mind. I, I'm really looking forward to that game. Battlefront's X-Wing VR mission that's coming soon, which, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, <laughs> you know, it's like, fuck, no, actually, that would be actually kind of tempted, because it's like, that reminds me of Rogue Squadron, and it's been 13 years since a new Rogue Squadron game, people, I want fucking Rogue Squadron, <sighs> sorry, sorry. 
sorry. Or if not Rogue Squadron name, then something like Rogue Squadron. I just want Factor 5 making another Rogue Squadron style game, please. I really loved Rogue Squadron as a kid. It was fucking awesome. And I go back to it now and it's still fucking awesome. Sorry. But yeah, effectively, you just do the gummy ship VR missions like the Battlefront X Wing VR missions. That's actually the best solution, and that's one thing that Kingdom Hearts has going for it that Final Fantasy XV with the Prompto mission doesn't have. And I think there's a real wasted opportunity on Square Enix's part to have given the VR priority to Prompto as opposed to, or whatever the hell the guy, the blonde hair shooty guy. I don't have the link up yet anymore. Sorry. I got interested in this whole quantum computing article that was on the website I was at. Uh, but, yeah, the blonde hair guy with the gun. Like, in a sort of rails shooter sequence, it's like, we got a perfectly fine experience with fucking gummy ships in VR. And Square and more are smart. They'll do that. They'll basically do an X-Wing mission thing. You know, that would be... I would fucking pay for that. I... I... I, should, I would... Nah, I wouldn't pay for it. But it'd be interesting. It would be interesting. So, yeah. Um, but let me know what you guys think about Kingdom Hearts in VR, or at least the Gummy Ship missions in 3 being VR based. Let me know what you think, and I will be seeing you guys next time. But before I go, make sure to drop a like and a subscription, and maybe a comment if you want to get your two cents in. The likes really help me out because they let me know I want to see you take on more content like this. Well, you to me effectively you want me see doing more content like this as opposed to just let's plays and i really appreciate that so with that being said though this has been the way smellbringer saying not the way smellbringer god i don't use that name anymore just smellbringer saying adios amigos